Coach, heck of a way to open the second half of the uh, conference race with an 82-76 win over Georgia State tonight. Last two minutes of the game, your team had to come from behind, and Deshaun Smith made back-to-back -back threes, including a four-point play, to put you back on top. Well, our motto was, what a tremendous opportunity for our team tonight. Uh, you know, we've had some tough one-point losses, and, and, and one of them being the Georgia State, and this was starting the second half of the conference play, like you said. But we're at home. We, we, we you know, we've been right there, and, and uh, a great opportunity, and we kept kept saying that for the last uh, two days, and uh, it's a good moment for us. It's a big chance for us, and uh, I thought our team really responded. A lot of people will talk about the three back-to-back -back threes that Deshaun made, but uh, he made his living tonight taking the ball to the basket, went to the free-throw line 11 times and converted all of them. He outscored them tonight from the free-throw line 21-7. to seven. Well. It was when it was one of the changes we made uh, from the first half, from the time we played them, in particular in the first half. So over there, we really wanted to get inside of them, uh, drive it pass it in there, hunt for twos, and then take wide open threes. Uh, and the last time we played him in the first half, we did just the opposite. And I thought Jace Deshaun really listened to the scouting report. And we even used the word hard-headed. Be hard-headed to do this. Uh, don't give up throughout the game on staying committed to getting inside of him. That's why he went to the free throw line so much. He stayed committed to it. And, uh, and it was nice to see him you know, get fouled and get some twos. We've talked about it all season long. He had four players again in double figures. And obviously, again, Deshaun will get the headlines because of the 36 points. But you got a lot of help there, too, from Munnings, Earl, as well as J.D. Williams. Yeah, we had, uh, uh, you know, a lot of uh, everybody played well that played, no question about it. Didn't play a lot of guys. Uh, and uh, But they don't play a lot of guys either. They only play six. I only played six or seven. Uh, and, and, you know, you got to uh, show some uh, – toughness through fatigue a little bit. I, I noticed in the second half, I saw some, but I saw some on them too. And uh, uh, so I'm really proud of all of them. Uh, and uh, obviously, you know, Deshaun's, Deshaun's energy in this game was tremendous. And he's always got good energy. This was at a, energy, this was at another level, uh, just, just energy wise. And uh, I thought the other players fed off that. Another big stat tonight, he out rebounded him by 10 in the ball game. Well, it was. We got some good offensive rebounds kind of late in the game, gave us some extra possessions, uh, which was really good. So, uh, you know, we just needed to find a way to beat a good team, and we did. And, uh, and, and we're a good team. And I know we're not 10-0, uh, and 0, and I know we're not in first place. Uh, you know, but this is a good team, and uh, uh, we're going to have to win close games, as you can see. You know, we just we lost the game about a week ago, and same scenario. You know, so uh, it's good to see our team uh, make plays down the stretch. I got a feeling there's eight more conference games. There's going to be some more just like this, and uh, hopefully we can make some plays. You talked about Deshaun's energy tonight. There's great energy in this building too. Very good, man. The fans really helped us uh, down the stretch. I thought. I mean, they. You know, it was really good. The players could feel it. I could feel it. And uh, you know, that's, that's that's all you want in a home crowd. And uh, certainly thankful for them. Got a quick turnaround too. Georgia Southern in here on Friday night. Yeah, uh, you know, we'll have to uh, just one day preparation. Can't do much uh, tomorrow because of uh, playing these guys so many minutes. It's got to be all mental. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I'm really happy that they get to enjoy this win and then now turn around and, and hopefully, you know, it can fuel us to another one. And uh, we'll see you on Friday. Jayshon, 36 points, eight rebounds, seven assists tonight. You really had it going, played with great energy, but how important is it to start the second half of the league race with a six-point win over Georgia State? Uh, it's very important. Uh, I think they're the top of the conference. We want to prove a message or send a message to the guys and the rest of the conference that this half we're going to come and play hard, play with energy, and defend. You know, a lot of people will talk about your back-to-back -back threes late in the ballgame, but you went to the free-throw line 11 times tonight, converted all 11 times. Getting to the free-throw line really helped this team. You outscored them 21-7 to from the foul line tonight. Yeah, Coach preached all week about being aggressive, getting to the free-throw line, or making the play in the mid-range area. Uh, today they were fouling me when I was getting to the rim, so I wanted to continue to be aggressive and continue to shoot free-throws. I thought the team showed a lot of maturity there in the second half where they came back after being down and got the lead with about two minutes left to go. You had lost so many close games here in the conference race. Three, three games are one point. What was it about you guys that you continued to persevere tonight? Uh, tonight, I took it upon myself to be a leader and let the guys know in every time out that we were not going to lose the close game no more. We want to uh, turn the ship around. We've been losing three games straight. We want to start off being at home with a winning streak, and we want to get another one against Georgia Southern on Friday.
Talk about the balanced scoring again tonight. Four guys in double figures. You guys are awfully difficult to beat when you get that kind of uh, distribution. Yeah, uh, same thing at the beginning of the year. We got a lot of guys who can score, can lead the team in any uh, game. So it's great for guys to get the ball, get a feel for it, and shoot the shots that are open. The crowd really got into it late in the ball game. How much did that help fuel you guys? Because I know you guys were a little fatigued there at the end. Yeah, the crowd was big. Actually, they gave us energy. When we were going on a the run, they made us want to get more stops and continue to hear the loud noise in the building. So having those guys come out to support us, we just want to continue to win games and continue to have them come support us.